Hey guys, so that was uh, Patrick Mahomes' record-setting touchdown to Tyreek Hill. Got to witness that in person. Man, so proud of the kid. He's doing so great. Uh, for someone his age to be performing this well in the NFL is just tremendous. Super proud of the guy. Uh, anyways, welcome to the show. It's Corey, the Artist Chief. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure and subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, I got a lot to talk about in this episode. I'm going to try to keep it real short, okay? I'm going to try. Uh, so I went to the game with my family on Sunday. Uh, had a little minor problem uh, with security. Uh, they wouldn't let me in. I'm wearing this. Uh, this is apparently a dangerous weapon. So... Wasn't too pleased with security about that. Uh, I'd been in uh, two or three times with that on before. I don't understand. Uh, my main concern is the inconsistencies with security at Arrowhead Stadium. I'm not going to rip them too hard. I love the Chiefs. You know, it, I'm not out here trying to bash anybody. Just frustrated. You know, I missed the first quarter of the game. I had to go back to the. My brother's truck, put the thing up, come back, wait in line forever. You know, I ended up abandoning that line and going to another one and then walking a mile and just a mess. But, you know, if, if they're going to enforce rules, they need consistency across the board. There are some other issues there and uh, it's just frustrating. So basically, if you're wearing a mask or a chain or something of that nature, just I would abandon it before going in. That's, I, I mean, I'm just going to move on with my life. You know, I don't need to write the Chiefs a letter or whatever. You know, it's fine. I just won't wear it in. I'll wear it in the parking lot. It's just a silly chain. But anyways, I, had, I still had a blast. It was a great time. Just so cool. So fun. Uh, a few other things I want to talk about. Uh, one, the game that was supposed to be in Mexico this week. I'm super proud of the NFL for making the right decision and moving the game to L.A. It was a home game for the Rams to begin with. Um, I know that Chiefs Kingdom will be representing the Chiefs well out in California, just like when they play the Chargers. I think we'll see a sea of red out there. Um, another thing, like, I am just blown away at the, I don't know how to put it, like the newfound success of the Chiefs. Not that they haven't been winning, but when Patrick Mahomes came on board, all of a sudden, I mean, here's an example of what I'm trying to say. Uh, my mom, a couple of times, has asked me about the status of Eric Berry, my mother. <laughs> and today she was asking me about, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name all of a sudden. Crap. Um, okay, it came back to me. <laughs> Sammy Watkins, she was asking me about Sammy Watkins and if he was injured or not and if he played in the, the last game and all that, but I was just blown away. Like, my mom, of all people, is asking me about the Chiefs, you know? And uh, another thing, my my niece, she's 19 years old, and I've never really seen her um, be that into the Chiefs anyways. Um, but she told me she's been watching every single game from her home. Like, wow, you know? so. You know, shout out to my mom and my niece. I love you guys. Uh, just, you know, you can tell the Chiefs are just really catching on, you know, with the with the mainstream media and, and just fans all over that maybe were casual before. So it's a pretty cool thing. Um, I also wanted to talk about ketchup. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Patrick Mahomes, I believe it was his mother, was being interviewed about him and how he had to kind of hide some things just because of his popularity and everyone's just kind of watching him at all moments and he just didn't want to let it slip that he was just like this huge guy uh, uh like a huge ketchup fan and he likes putting ketchup on his steaks and he didn't want to get ketchup at the restaurant they were at because everybody was watching him and she's like just do it man just get the ketchup uh you know whatever whatever floats your boat man you want ketchup you eat ketchup you put ketchup on every damn thing if you're going to keep playing like this. And so as far as the upcoming game goes, like I've been super excited about this game all season. I've been excited about it since last year. Totally looking forward to it. Can't wait. 
And so I've decided that if the Chiefs lose, I'm going to eat a steak on here on YouTube on my channel. I'm going to put ketchup all over that son of a guy, and I'm going to eat a steak with ketchup. So uh, it's kind of a win-win situation for myself. You know, it's kind of a weak bet, but, man, I don't know if that's... <laughs> That still doesn't sound very appetizing. So um, maybe maybe some other time when there's another game, I can come up with some kind of uh, you know wager or, or horrible thing I can do to if the Chiefs lose. I don't know. I'll let you guys come up with that. Just you know, don't kill me. You know. Uh, anyways, I probably have some more things to talk about. Who cares? You know, I just don't want to ramble on forever. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I think. Before I go, I'll just uh, show you an update on the painting I'm working on. I'm working on an, uh, the left-handed pass by Mahomes uh, from the Denver game. So check it out. Thanks, guys.